Okay. Okay, thank you all so much. I'm going to be very, very brief because I know you all have your meeting. I am so glad to be here. And as I said, we are moving forward. Thank you for uh, inviting me, the host. I thank you so much. You have even explained so much, but I'm going to just go briefly so that people will know how we started, why we are where we are, and where we are going to. We are so, 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 so close. First of all, Ninas is the Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for Self-Determination. That is what we're doing, basically. We are claiming our territories. We are claiming our positions. We are claiming our land. So this is not about Fulani telling us what to do. This is us saying, we the people, we want what belongs to us, what rightfully belongs to us. We are not going to fight over it because it is ours. So we're not going to fight over it. So this is ours. So I just want you to grab your indulgence and give me just a few minutes to explain how it all started. I'm not going to go into too many details, but you know, I'll just show you how everything started. First of all, in 1999, when the constitution was written, in actual fact, that constitution was not written. It was actually adopted through Decree 24. That was the adopted the 1979 constitution through Abdul Salam Decree 24, turned it into 1999, I made a mess of everybody. That 1999 constitution is the problem, is the cause of what we are, where we are right now. And that is why Ninas decided that the first thing that we have to do before we think of anything else is to pull down that constitution. So we said, you see, this 1999 constitution must come down for us to go forward. And why do we want to do that? Because in this constitution, there are 68 exclusive lists all these 68 exclusive lists makes it impossible for a Yoruba man to generate the money that comes in Yoruba land to be used for Yoruba people. They made it so difficult. The Igbo man, the money that is generated in his own land to be used by his own people and for his own people. So this 68 exclusive list, if you go through it, you would, you would say, God forbid, how did we even allow this to happen for so long? Guess what? The um, Port Authority in Lagos generate billions of dollars. They generate a lot of money. But guess what? Lagos State alone does not get back that money because this constitution allows about 70% of what Lagos State makes to go to Kano, to go to Kano State that generates 0%. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this constitution is the constitution that made them to make our students would have 200 and something for jam. And they will not qualify to get into institutions of higher learning. But their own kids with 50% can come in and study medicine. This constitution made it so. This constitution made it so that we cannot generate electricity in our land. If you go to Nigeria now, everybody has this small generator. I better pass my neighbor. That is what they are using. And here in America, we have like 24 hours. All you need to do is to pay your bills. Is that not it? That constitution made it so. So if you go and open the constitution, you'll see all these 68 exclusive items on the list. And that is why we say we are no longer doing. You have to pull it down for anything positive to happen. Then, even before we went there, the Nigerian, the, the, the contraption, I call it contraption because that is what it is. I call it a contraption because the Fulanese, they have already moved on with their Sharia. You understand? They did this in sometime in 2000. They moved on with their Sharia and decided that we here, we can decide to do whatever I want, but it has to come through their own power. So they have moved on with this, these 12 states that you see right now. Before, the Middle Belt used to be part of the North. But the Middle Belt found out that we cannot continue in this manner. That is why they pulled out from the North. So these 12 states has already agreed to move on with their Sharia states. And that is why when they say we are succeeding, we want them to know that we are not succeeding. No, 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 no. We are actually asking for what belongs to us. Our own self-determination, that is what we are seeking. And let me also make us to realize that these three bottom, like we have the middle belt here, we have the Yoruba nation here, we have the lower Niger here. When I call lower Niger, it means the Southeast and the South South and some part of the middle belt. So all of us, we have created an alliance we have created a stronghold against the Fulani Caliphate. So we are ready together. We are doing this together. That is why it's easy. I didn't think the middle belt wanted to go on their own. These people on this side will crush them. 
I didn't been we the beer friends, we tried to go on our own one time. You see what happened in 67. We were crushed. I didn't think the Yoruba wanted to go on their own, they would be crushed. So that is why we decided to create an alliance first before we decide to go. So that has happened. Then in 2007, the template that the Ninas is using is this UNDRIP, United Nations Declaration of the Rights of the Indigenous Peoples. Because people are asking the question, hey, how do, how do you think this thing would work? How do you think this thing would work? Fulani will not agree. Eh, kineko, kineko. Leo, they were just making so much noise. And we're telling them that there is a template. There is a template and you won't believe it. One of the people that helped to see this template go through was uh, Professor Wale Shoinka. It was one of those that allowed this template to go through in 2007. Mm. He helped us to get this thing to go through. The first guy that tried it during Second World War, they killed him because they said, ah, if Africans understand that they can have self-determination, how do we go and steal from them? So it was the help of Wale Shoinka and some other chaps that made this possible in 2007. I think the secretary there was Kofi Annan. So through, because it was a friend to Shoinka and so on and so forth, they met together and said, hey, man, you got to help us. You got to help us. So in 2007, this thing came out and it has about 46 articles. It's from these 46 articles that Ninas is working from. So if anybody tells, ah, Fulani no go agree, Fulani, no, 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 no. Fulani go agree because we are, we are Fulani, we are not the same. We are not the same. So if you go through all these 46 articles, it's talking about the indigenous peoples in their indigenous spaces. Like the Ijo man will be in his Ijo territory, the Igbo man will be in his Igbo territory, the Yoruba man will be in his Yoruba territory. So nobody would encroach on your territory unless you decide to agree. So with that being said, now let me give you the last, uh, or let me give you the trend, the real template that was mapped out. These are the system steps that have been mapped out since 1999 when this project started. It started in 1999. And so far, we are at the 50. This is where we are right now. From here to this is where we are. And this is the last phase. We are on number 15, where we are, because we have done the constitutional first major. We did that in uh, December 16th, of which I am a signatory. So we have done that. This is the last phase of where we are, right? We, we are on the 15th. We are moving to the 15th. And we will now get to the 16th, and that will be the end. And when my brother was saying, ah, we are so close, we are so close. That's the truth. We are really, really close. So we are going to finish from here and go down to this last part of the entire phase. It has taken 21 years in making. You understand? And why we decided to go through this platform or go through this pathway is because we don't want any war. What will not benefit us? Yeah. We don't want anybody to die for no reason, especially when all those things belong to you. Mm -hmm. So that is why we had to go through this path. And we are hoping that by the time we finish, we would end up like this. Imagine federations. The Yorubans will go as their Odudua nation or Yoruba nation. We are the lower Niger, we would go as our own nation. We can decide to even split further if we so wish. The middle belters will go. This one, they've already gone because they came up with Sharia and they have already gone. And that is why you should not be afraid that ah, Fulani will kill you. No! Guess what? We have done the constitutional force major that makes it impossible for the Fulani to continue to kill you unless you want to die. There's no point. And now, on the 16th of December 2020, uh, 2020 this is the constitutional force major that we could do. We did this constitutional force major expressing our grievances to the nation. We're well, like, you know what? We can no longer do this. We can no longer be a part of this. We are no longer interested in becoming one. You have to answer the five demands. And these five demands were presented to the government. They gave the presidency 90 days to come around the five demands of the constitutional force major. The 90 days have come and gone. They also gave from then, I think, a, a March of um, 2021, 17th, another 30 days to the governors and the senators. Hey, 
go and you know be part of the transitioning movement some of them are still drawing back they are like ah would this work would this not work they are still you know uh, oh, baba go slow they don't want to move fast and we're like okay don't worry you just have to do what we need to be done but right now starting from the 17th of april we have given our people 120 days 120 days is the power people that's what it's called is the activation of the power people or people or power to the people it has been activated already and what do we need to do in that 120 days as my brother rightly said they have been campaign on a weekly basis there was an ibado campaign there, there was an oshomo campaign um was it today or yesterday yeah, yeah. it was today abby no no today. It, was yesterday. it was yesterday sorry that was a show campaign yesterday and the campaigns would have to continue and you so the reason why we are doing these campaigns and you know the army or whatever police they are not attacking is because of the first major they can no longer attack because we've not said that we are disputing that constitution the constitution no longer holds us binding and that is why we want to create that awareness everywhere you go you talk to your people educate them let them know why they shouldn't even fight in the streets let them know why they should all come together because everybody has to come together to agree on what we are doing so the campaign is very very effective i watched i watched it yesterday i saw uh, sunday but i saw quick i saw a lot of people out there i saw it, they they came out and the, it has to be continuous until the end of that 120 days and what are we looking at that 120 days we have already told the owners of the land this is you and i my own land your own land that hey once that 120 days comes up you have every right to do whatever you want to do and we have told the government they are pretending as if they are not listening and they're pretending that what we are doing is online it's not online no there is so much work on the ground there are not so many things i can tell you now but there's so much work on the ground the united states is involved even the uk has answered the eu has answered they say no 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 they cannot deal with this because they know that we are legitimate in what we are talking about and the UN is so much in support because guess what? We have to go through the hundred. If we did not go through that hundred, just ah, what are these people talking about? You understand? So we went through the hundred that was proclaimed in 2007, and that is what is helping us. So to wrap it up, with the 120 days, what we are looking forward to, as I said, we're going to have referendum. The referendum would be supervised by the united nations i saw somebody doing um was it a little advert that there will be referendum on june 12th i don't think so we have to end our 120 days before that referendum and any referendum that you do online it's not acceptable no the united nation has to supervise the referendum so let us not be carried away because some people will say ah june 12th come on it's for yoruba nation mm -mm. These people are like, the, these full army guys. Ah, they know that their time is up. They know that already. So they are looking for loopholes. They are looking for who to bribe. They are looking for who to give money. They are looking. They are looking for so many things. So people should not get carried away. There is no referendum on the twelfth. I mean, you can you can verify that, uh, Brasho. You can verify that. But I know personally that there that is, is no referendum. referendum. It's confirmed already. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 So don't get carried away. The, the referendum has to be supervised by the UN. And by the time we have this referendum, the Oduduwa nation would emerge. Everybody, my own nation would also emerge. That does not mean that I will hate my Yoruba brother or whatever. No, we will still be friends. If I have to come to your country, I get visa. But the, the bottom line is that the ECOWAS visa should be able to be easy for me to go up and down. So don't even get the, ah, that, oh, if Igbo goes, this will happen if Yoruba. No, 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 no. Let us go first of all because... The things that we are hoping to get at the end of the day is innumerable. We can't even count it. We can't count the things that we would get eventually. Because guess what? If this thing happens, the cocoa farm that is in Yoruba land would bloom. Everybody will go back to farm. In our own, I think it's in Ondo, they have a lot of asphalt and bitumen. And yet, we don't have roads. You can imagine that. A friend, my classmate in those days did a project on that when we were in Ibadan. 
he did a project, he got some samples, he wanted to quantify the amount of asphalt and bitumen in Ondo State. Massive. And yet, no good roads in Nigeria. Does it make sense? It mm. doesn't make sense. The Ajakuta steel that is there has been there like even before, I can't even remember when. It's not generating anything. Do you know what we can make with the steel? Do you know that we can even use steel for so many things from cars to airplanes to jet? So many, so many things that we can do with that. In my own area where we have coal in every good state, do you know what coal would generate for my people? At least constant electricity. It will generate that for my people. So mm -hmm. let us not be, you know, carried away that ah, if your bag goes on, we're happy with people. No, no, no. Let us go first of all. What will happen will happen. We'll still be friends. And we'll be able to manage our resources by ourselves. Able friend and us. So we will be able to manage our resources for ourselves, for our children, even for our unborn generation. And Thanks. guess what? By the time things get settled, a lot of us would leave the United States of America and go back home. Thank you so much. So, thank you all so much for giving me this time. If you have any thank questions, you. let me know. Thank you so, so much. I know there is no better way to collaborate. And you know when you invite doctor and doctor, you know there are doctors that are doctors. Emeritus, <laughs> there are emeritus doctors. So we really appreciate you. Thank you so much thank for coming, you. Dr. Anusiki. God bless you. you. God bless you. I thank know you. by the time we get to our Boston, which is a very our own good place of very, 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 very soon. Very, very it, soon. it is so very soon. Very it's soon. so soon. I can't even. I wish I could give it a date that is next week. <laughs> <laughs> it is that close. Good. Honestly, it is that we close. Are, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. We have really enjoyed you, and we say God bless you. Thank you, we, my Thank you, we, all of you. We always engage you more and more. Sure. If we know that we call you any day, any time again, you're going to answer us. Ah, Thank definitely, you. definitely. Thank you so much. All right. Thank, Thank you all. God bless you all. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Back to you, 